Hello, Year One. And today we are going to look at some RE. So to remind ourselves, RE stands for Religious Education. And in religious education, we look at a wide range of religions. And a religion is a set of beliefs and morals followed by a group of people. So we, before we begin the lesson today, we need to remind ourselves of our very important discussion rules. And that means we need to be mindful of other people's feelings when we are speaking. And also we need to remember that everybody has different views and opinions, which is completely fine as we are all individuals and unique. We need to remember to listen to others when they're speaking and when they're talking. And also if we discuss anything that might make you feel uncomfortable today, it's important you speak and discuss with an adult at the end of the session. So here was our learning objective for today. What do Christians believe about God? In our previous RE lessons, our main topic has been the religion Christianity. And we have spoke about a few different things about that religion. We have spoke about Shrove Tuesday, which is a day that Christians celebrate. And we've also looked at different parables from the Bible. And just to remind ourselves, a parable is a story from the Bible, which Christians take the teachings from those stories and apply them to their everyday life. And in today's session, we are going to discuss what Christians believe about God. Before we begin this session, I would like you to discuss with your grown up, what would you like to know about God? And whilst you're having this discussion, write down a list of questions or queries you would like to know about God. Maybe by the end of the lesson, you might be able to answer some of your questions or queries. It's really important to understand that everybody has different views and idea of God. Even within the religion, Christianity, all Christians have a different view on God. This is because everybody processes and takes in information differently. So for example, we might play a game of I spy and I'm describing an object to you and I say, this object is square and it has um, gray lining on it. So somebody might think I'm describing a window because a window is square. Or somebody might think I'm describing a door because a door can also come in a square form. It all just depends on how you process information and take it in and what kind of images you create in your mind. And that's the same idea of how people create their views on God. In this session, we're going to look at some different resources. We're going to look at a video and we will look at um, some artwork and a poem. And all these resources are made um, from different people and they're showing their views and ideas on God. We're going to look at the, look at the video together. Hello, I've, my name is Abrielle and I've written a song called God is Everywhere. I'm sick. That was some lovely singing from Abrielle there. So now that we've watched that video, um, what I would like you to do is create a mind map 
and write down what key information you take from each source and also write down what their views on God are. So for example, here I've um, started the mind map and in the middle I've put, what do Christians believe about God? And here I have wrote some key information that I took from that video that Abrielle had made. And I've wrote, Abrielle believes God is everywhere. In the song, she says he is in the flowers and he is with her when she is walking. So that's the key information that I've took from that video. And Abrielle's view on God is she believes that he is everywhere. Now with your adults, have a look at the other resources that I have put in the PowerPoint. And these resources are from some children. And this one is some lovely artwork. Also, I've put next to the resource, their description of their artwork. And have a discussion with your adult about these different resources and write down on the mind, on the mind map what key information you take from these and also what is their view on God. You might find that they'll have different views on God which is completely fine. We spoke about this at the start of the session, how everybody has different views and ideas, and it's all about how you process and take in information. Here we have some other artwork and its description. And there also is a poem that was made by a group of children. And this poem is titled Who? And it is based on their ideas and views of God. Once you have completed looking at those different um, resources and sources, come back to the questions that you wrote for this question. Did you manage to answer any of your questions about what you would like to know about God or any of the queries that you wrote down about what you would like to know about God? Okay, that's all for this afternoon. Thank you very much, Year One, for listening.